Okay, so we'll start our morning session with uh, just a check-in with uh, core engagement. So pelvic floor, feel that engagement there and deep abdominals drawing in and up. Okay, take the hands to the lower rib cage. And let's just take some breath there in through the nose and out through the mouth. So you're gonna feel that breath deep and wide into your ribs. And just start to rock back and forth on your toes and your heels as you're breathing. And then just release those arms and just start to swing the arms up and then keep long through the neck and with the shoulder blades soft down your back. Rise up on the in breath and exhale to come down. And then on the next time we come up, we'll then come down into squat, send the hips back in, breath up, and exhale down. So we just continue to do that whilst I let the dog in. In, breath up, and exhale. Over here, over here. Inhale up, and exhale down. Keep that good form. And rise onto your toes on the next one, and see if you can just hold it. As you come down, take your hands to one side and sweep around and just continue that way around, circling around. So you're articulating the spine, softening the knees as you bend down as to whom you need. And make sure that you're really working up to the top, round to the side, sweeping round towards the floor. And then change direction, sweep it up. Side, front, and up to the top. All with your breath, not holding the breath. And last one. And then just release the arms down to the side and give the shoulders just a little shrug up, back, down, and around. Just loosen off into the shoulder girdle there. Okay, and then just take it into a gentle twist. You can pivot through the feet as well, get a little bit more range. So just sweeping the arms around, feeling that engagement through your centre. Twisting through the middle spine. And then release. And take your feet out just a little bit wider now. Okay, and stretch your arms out and take a twist on the in breath. And now exhale to reach down. So we're adding the standing saw. Okay, we come up and we twist, inhale, and we exhale and reach down towards the outside of the foot or leg. Legs as strong as you like, or soften the knees a little bit, but stay strong within your center. That midline is strong. Come up on the in breath and twist, and then the out breath reach. And as you reach, twist through that back hand, draw the shoulder in towards the spine. You can also follow the back hand as well. And last one and hands on hips and turn the toes out and just gently squat down. So just into whatever range feels okay for you. Just get a little bit more work into the inner thighs. So in and around the hip joint there, warming up, in breath down and exhale up. Come up nice and strongly through those thighs. Keep your core engaged, so that midline nice and strong. And then reach the arms up, inhale, and then exhale, sweep down, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, curl down, inhale, reach up. And then last one. 
and then keep your right foot turned and just tuck your uh, left foot in, okay? Now, keeping your left hand on your hip, just take your right hand down your leg and keep that right leg as straight as you can. And just feel that stretch, inner thigh and hamstrings on that right leg. And it feels okay. Reach up to the ceiling with the left hand. We're breathing. If you want to shuffle go a little bit longer, you can always shuffle the legs a little bit wider to make sure you've got a firm base. Now bend the front knee and keep reaching the hand up with the hand down the leg. Breathe. And then we're going to take the hands down either side of your front foot. Now we're going to stretch your back leg away with the heel up now. If that feels too much, bring your knee to the floor. Okay, so with your right leg forward, take your right hand up and open up. And breathe. And then come back round to the center. So we're going to be turning this, uh, it'll be your left foot probably. Tuck the right foot in. Track the right, the left hand down the leg. And lift the rib cage to the ceiling. Either keeping your hand on your hip and looking up or just look where it feels good. Or reach this right hand up. Stretch and open up. In our yoga practice, this is a triangular posture stretch. Your posture. We bend the front knee now, and the hand stays down the leg or goes to the foot or could go to the floor. So the front knee directly above the ankle, top hand reaching, breathe, and then we're going to bring both hands down to the floor, either side of your front foot, still with the knee above the ankle, the back foot, now the heel is up. And again, if that feels too much, bring the knee to the floor. Stretch the heel of the back foot away, which will be your right foot, and take your left hand up, and then rotate to the middle spine, and breathe. And release, tuck the toes in, pull the abdominals in, and then placing one hand down on the floor, so, and then reach the other hand up. And rotate through that middle spine again, breathe. And then change. And reach up. Push the floor away. And then just take the hands to the hips and then bring yourself up to standing. Okay, so we're going to have one leg forward, one leg back. All right, and then we're going to have the heel of the back foot up. And then we're just going to bend the knee and then just holding that position, giving that stretch into the hip flexors in that back leg. If you want to add a little bit more, stretch the arms up to the ceiling and draw the arms back. Keep the hips and the shoulders square. And then from there, we're going to sweep the hands around behind you and see if you can interlace your fingers. If that's too much, just place the hands on the small of the back and stretch away. And then to add some challenge to that, if you want to, take the weight further forwards, keep the back foot on the floor initially, just lightly with the toe. And then if you're able to, lift your back foot off the floor and see if we can find some balance. So think about core engagement. I'm heading off. <laughs> then release. Hope you did better than me on that. Change sides. So other leg forward, and then the back heel is up. Bend the front knee, place your hands on your hips, and just breathe, okay? So find that position where you're maybe having to just hold that, that, that posture, and take the arms up if it feels okay. Reaching them up to the ceiling, roll the arms back, stretch the back leg away and breathe. And then once again, sweep the hands back and either place them onto the small of your back or interlace your fingers. 
And then shifting the weight forwards onto the toes. And then if it feels okay, you can lift that leg off the floor. So what's the focus here with your gaze? With your core muscles, inner thighs working towards one another. And then release. And release those hands. Come to the back of your mat. Have your feet hip distance apart. Take your chin to your chest. Roll down through your spine. From your neck, your shoulders, and all the way down through your spine. And just stretch it down as deep as you can. And then slowly roll it up. Draw the abdominals deep. And we stack your spine. And then come to the top and shoulders back and down, taking in breath there, chin to chest, neck, shoulders, upper back, middle spine, draw the abdominals in. And working your way down. And once more, slowly back up. Really slow to restack your spine until we're standing tall. And one more time, chin to chest. Keep the abdominals drawn in, pelvic floor muscles engaged as you roll down, really cooling in through those abs. And take the hands down as low as you can, either on the legs, the feet, or the floor. As you bend your knees now, bend and stretch. The one knee bending, the other leg straightening up. Okay, just feel your way into that. And then bend the right knee, and then take the left arm up. So again, a bit of rotation there, a bit more stretch into the left side of the hip and the back, and then change sides, bend the left leg. And reach your right hand up. And then release. Walk the hands forwards on your mat now. And see if you can come to a downward facing dog. Okay, if it's too much on those arms, then come down to your forearms. So you're in a high heel down dog, and then you start to pedal your heels up and down. Breathe. And then heels high, pull the abdominals in, and then send the heels down towards the floor, pushing the floor away. Same time, stretching your mat sideways to open your shoulders. Come back to a high heel down dog, keep the thighs on if you can, pull the belly in, and then stretch it down. And one more time in breath. And exhale, heels down, push the floor away, lengthen out through the back of the body. And breathe, and then come down to your knees. Send the weight back into child's posture. Walk your hands around to the right hand side in your child's posture. And feel that stretch down the left side of your spine. And then walk it around to the other side. And then come to rest on your forearms at the front. So elbows under shoulders. Send those feet back. Draw the abdominals in. Or if that feels too much, bring the knees down. Okay. From here, we're going to start to... So if you've got your knees on the floor, you are going to have to try and draw them, uh, walk, we're trying to walk the feet in. So if you're on your knees, you could bring the knees up, okay? And you could scoop your belly in and round your back, okay? If you're gonna keep your legs straight, walk your feet in, your hips lift, your head tucks under, but stays off the floor. Then you push the floor away. And you draw your abdominals deep, and then you walk back out again, okay? And you hold it or you rest. If you're on your knees, remember you can come up with the knees, scoop the belly in, rounding the back, and then walk your knees back out. Okay. 
abs stay nice and strong all the way. If we're off the knees, we're walking the feet up. Pulling the belly in. Keep the head off the floor. Lift the sit bones high. Push the floor away. Walk it back out again. See if you can hold it or rest where you need. We're going to do one more walking up. With those feet, hips are high, push the floor away. So lots of work into the shoulders here, into those core muscles. And then walking back and coming down to the floor and stretching it back into child's posture. So just take some breath there. And then come back up now to hands under your shoulders the knees underneath your hips, okay? Draw your abdominals in and maintain that steadiness in the body by engaging those core muscles. So we're gonna reach your right arm and left leg along the floor and then we're gonna float them off the floor and we're gonna hold that position for a moment and then come back down. And then we're gonna reach the left arm along the floor with the right leg and then float them off the floor. All of this done with the real steadiness in the body. So we're going to imagine we've got that tray of glasses on your back. As you lift and float those limbs off the floor, stretching fingertips from the toes. And as you come back as well. So pelvic floor muscles, deep abs. To maintain that stability. Stretch and lengthen. Coming back reaching along the floor, right arm, left leg, and reach. If you're wobbling around a little bit too much, then I would just do either the, the arm movement or the leg movement, not both together. And release. So either push yourself up into down dog or take your knees wider into Charles posture and send those heels away. Stretch the fingers away and send the hips back and breathe. So from your child's posture, bring your hands a little wider at the front of the mat, draw the belly in and shift the head beyond the hands. Okay, so we're now taking that weight through the shoulders. We've got the belly strong. And then we come down as low and as deep as you can to press up, push, and then go back into your child's posture and stretch through. Come back up again, send the weight forward, pelvic floor, deep abs, in breath down, and then press. So we stretch back into child's posture, and then we shift the weight through, and then we're down into press up. Those of you that want more than this, Tuck your toes, come off of your knees, do your full press up, and then you come back into this iron dog position. And we drive back forwards again for your press up. So, whatever is a challenge for you, always try to challenge yourself if you can do it. Keep in good form though, all the way with your press up, whichever you're doing. It wants to be an in breath down, and then exhale, push back. Slow and controlled with the breath. Do one more and then take a stretch back, either child's posture or downward facing dog. Breathe. And then roll on to your side. And just tuck the heels in. Have your elbow underneath your shoulder and take your free hand to lift your waist up and stretching out with your top leg. Take your top hand, reach that up and over your ear and lift your waist off the floor, lift your hip off the floor and then tuck and reach. So now that top leg is staying off the floor, the lower waist is staying lifted and we're breathing out to tuck and we're breathing in to reach. Keep drawing that lower waist up, trying to keep the body as still as you can by engaging through those deep postural muscles, abdominals, 
pelvic floor muscles. In breath, you stretch away. And exhale, you tuck. In breath, away. And exhale, tuck. And one more if you can. And just take a rest there. Just lie down for a sec, stretch it out. So you release through the shoulders and breathe. And then when you're ready, we're going to come back up to that same elbow. So make sure that elbow is comfortable. So if you need something underneath it, do that. Okay. Pull the abdominals in. Top leg straight again. Okay. If we can, we lift off the floor, but we can always stay down on the floor. Okay. We can lift the top arm up or we can rest it on the hip. And we just lift the top leg now. So we can do this hand on hip or hand up. We could do this on the floor, yeah? Or if you want more challenge, so you could also do it off of the elbow this way, or you could also do it off the floor this way. So whatever's working for you, where you can keep that in good form, think length in the leg, lower waist lifted, and last one. And then we're going to roll around onto your front and just take some breath. And we'll do the other side in a sec. So just breathe. Take some breath there. And then stretch your arms out to the side and lift those arms up and lift the legs up. If you can, if not, keep the legs down. So think long in the neck. Don't strain the neck. Sweep the arms forwards, exhale. Inhale, sweep them back. Exhale, sweep them forwards. And inhale, draw them back. So feet lifted if you can. If not, feet on the floor. Take the arms as far forwards as you can. And as far back as you can. As you come back, a little bit more lift in the chest. Draw the abdominals deep, pelvic floor muscles engaged. And next time we come back, we're interlacing those fingers if we can and stretching down. Stretching the toes, pulling the abdominals deep. And then release. Send the heels out and just roll side to side to release the back and breathe. Stretch those arms out again and turn your head to the right. Keep the thighs strong, lift the right leg up and sweep that leg up and over to lifting the right side of the hips and try to take that foot right round and over and see if you can touch the floor. Come back, turn the head to the left, lift the left leg up, sweep the leg over, see if you can take it round towards the other side, touching the floor. Coming back, arm stay strong, turn the head to the right, lifting up, sweeping round. Can you reach the right foot down towards the floor? And breathe. And then turn the head to the left. And lift and sweep round. So we're going to try that again for turning the head to the right, lift the right leg up, sweep up and over, and breathe. And then you're going to try the other side, turn the head to the left, lift the left leg up, and then sweep up and over, and get that foot to the floor, and then release. And then just tuck those hands underneath your shoulders and tuck your elbows into your sides. And then lift your hands off the floor as you lift 
your chest and your head up and off the floor. So squeeze the shoulder blades, then place the hands down and then gently come up, trying to keep the hips down and send the breastbone forwards, keep the neck long. And then coming back down. Lift the hands up, the head comes up, the chest comes up, the elbows are tucked, place the hand and push up and think length through the front of the body and breathe. And then do one more of those. Lift, squeeze, press. And then coming down. And keeping the left arm forwards, kick the right heel up and reach for that foot. And you're either going to stay on your front or you're going to roll onto your side. If you're on your front or on your side, tuck the tailbone under, breathe. And either the other leg on its own or the other leg together with the, with the other leg. Okay, so from here we're trying to develop that if we can, if we're on our fronts and we're doing both legs. So pull the belly in, lift the chest, work the hands down the legs, work them down the ankles, try and lift the knees up, lift the chest up, press the feet, the legs into the hands, squeeze the shoulder blades, open up the front of the body, work those back extensors, rock and roll if it's happening to you. And then release. Stretch it back into your child's posture, or you could do down dog. So get some breath and release the back again. And we're going to swing round onto that other elbow, forearm, tucking the heels in, bending the knees, and then stretching this top leg long. Take your free hand to lift your waist up, pulling everything tight. You can either stay on the floor, okay, as you reach the arm away, or you can lift the hip up and then tuck. Inhale away, tuck. So focus on keeping that lower waist lifted. Use your breath, stretch away in the in-breath. Exhale, tuck. Keep that good form, keep lifted. In breath away, exhale, tuck, lower waist lifted. And release that. Release that elbow for a moment. And just release the arm down. So take away any tension through the shoulder and breathe. So we're going to come back up to the elbow again. And once again, we can either, we can work at the level that, that, that feels good for us. So we can keep the hip down or we can lift the hip. We can have the hand on the hip, the lower waist is lifted or the hand up. Lift the leg up this way. We can also come off of the elbow. If that's too much, and do this one. Or if you want more still, you stack in the feet and lift it. Really loading the shoulder. Okay, so find the position for you. Nice and long through the leg. Breathe out to lift, in to come back. Last one. And then come down. And then we're going to come down. Line your back. And bring the heels in. Okay. Two. We're going to do pelvic tilt. So in breath, arch. And exhale and crimp. In breath, arch, and exhale. 
in my heart. So continue with your pelvic tilt. Once I let the dog back in, breathe. And then the next time you go to imprint, peel that spine up and off the floor and lift the hips and squeeze through the inner thighs and then bring the arms up and over your head. So just see if we can stay up in that position, but try not to flare up through your ribs. So draw your abdominals in, keep the spine steady and just bring the arms back down, exhaling. Inhale, reach up and over. And exhale, bring the hands down, keep the knees steady. Inner thigh squeezing, broad across the collarbones. Body stays as still as you can. Pelvic floor, deep abs, nice strong line from your knees to your hips to your shoulders, and then when the arms go back, all the way to your fingers. Body is still. And then last one. And then slowly come down and take the hands to the thighs and curl the head up and reach the fingers up to the knees. And then slowly come down and then exhale, curl. And then we're going to gradually speed up that pace. So up and down. Scoop the belly in. Just tracking the hands up the thighs as far as you can go, reaching those fingertips, working the shoulders up and off the floor. Relax through the neck. If you're not liking this through the neck, take a hand behind the head. And really crunching up on the out of breath. Remember to change hands if you're doing this. Out as we come up and then scoop the belly in. You can either look through towards the navel or just look forwards or look up, lifting the chest. And then last one. And then hug those knees in. And take your head side to side and just release your neck. Breathe. Place those feet back down on the floor. Draw the abdominals in. Reach the hands out to the side with the hands hovering off the floor. Curl up. So now we're going to take a little twist to the right. And then come back and then a twist to the left. So it's an in-breath centre. And it's an exhale twist. So shoulders up and off the floor. So obliques, now get in the work. Side of the abdominal wall. Can you keep those knees steady? Feet, hip distance, knees, hip distance. Remember to use the hand behind the head and maybe do one side for a few breaths and then change if you're straining through the neck, yeah? Otherwise we do one side then the other. And staying up in that position is hard enough. And then adding that twist, you're going to be feeling that burn. And last one. And hug those knees in. Again, head side to side to release the neck. And breathe. And then once again, we're going to curl up. And then this time, we're going to take the hands behind the head. And we're going to stretch the left leg long. We're going to take a twist. Then we're going to hold that position, looking towards the right elbow, and then the left elbow towards the right knee. You're curled up, you're holding it, you're stretching your left leg long, you're breathing, you've got to hold that position, then you change, you've got to hold it. So after the work we've just done, you're going to be feeling that burn into those abdominals. So we're holding it, holding it, holding it. Breathe, then you change. In breath, long change, exhale, tuck. When you feel that work again, hitting those obliques. 
elbows wide, loop to the opposite elbow, and rest. Now stretch the legs out, stretch the arms out. So we really stretch with one arm and the opposite limb, and stretch away with the other. So we're lengthening back out. Breathe. Okay, so we're going to get ready to do a roll up now. So everything's got to be switched on. So I recommend you pushing the heels away here, maybe keep the thighs on. Stretch the fingers, draw the belly in. And as you bring your hands up, you're just really sending that back into the floor. You're bringing the hands up. And then we're reaching and we're rolling forwards. So we roll it back. Keep the chin tucked, scooping the belly in and roll back. So if it's too much with uh, coming up, then make sure you bend your knees, okay? And you use your hands on your thigh, curl yourself up. And then when you get to a point where you can then work slow and controlled, then you do that. I would concentrate on this rollback phase. It's felt especially difficult this morning after doing those few exercises beforehand. I'm already feeling sore. So hands level, shoulders, chin to chest, scoop the belly, tuck the tailbone. There's as little momentum as possible trying to come up into that roll up. Slowly back, reaching up and over. Hands level, shoulders, chin to chest, tuck the tailbone, scoop the belly around the back and scrush. And then roll it back. Yeah, I'm going to do one more of those. And reach forward for that stretch. So just stay in that stretch, hands down the legs or the feet. Stretch the spine. And then bend the knees and bring the hips forwards to the knees. And just tuck it. So we're going to try to get ready to roll like a ball. So we're tucking in, and if we can, we take the feet off the floor. If you know rolling like a ball is tough, take the hands to your sides and use those arms to roll back with. Otherwise, roll back, and then come back up. Keep tucked in. Exhale back, inhale up. Exhale back. Try not to let those heels kick away from the body. Keep the body as tight as you can remember to use those arms where you need coming up and the next time we come up can you hold that position or if it's too much for balance then place the feet on the floor just lightly take the knees apart and get hold of the ankles and lift the chest and try stretching one leg away as far as you can. And can you do this in balance? If not, foot is on the floor. And then we try the other leg, stretching away. Breathe. And if you can, both legs, if not one at a time. And breathe. So just continue with that, either singles or doubles. And then release. Taking the hands behind you, fingertips facing forwards, feet hip distance, lift the chest. Pull the abdominals in. So just lift the chest so your pelvic tilt here and then scoop the belly in. And then send the chest forwards and then tuck the tailbone under. Send the chest forwards and then tuck and forwards. And then tuck. And the next time we go forward, let's lift the hips up. Okay. So lift the hips up. Come back down. Lift the chest. And then push up. So if we can, we're going to see if we can hold this position for a moment. If it feels too much, just come down every now and again and take a breath. And then push back up to work into chest and shoulders for a bit more work. Straighten the right leg out and lift. And lift. So 
We're loading into shoulders, keeping the hips lifted. We're going to change legs. Keep the hips lifted, straighten the left leg and kick. And kick. And kick. Make sure you're breathing. Change or come down, take a breather. Stretch the leg out and kick. 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 Keep the hips lifted. Change legs if you can. Have an arrest whenever you need. Breathing out to kick. Last set. So when you reset, make sure you're opening the chest and the shoulders, keeping the hips lifted. And then last one on the left leg. And then come down, stretch the legs, sweep the arms around, scoop the belly in and roll it down. Stretch for your legs or your feet and breathe. Release. All right, we're going to swing round, okay, into hands under shoulders, knees under hips, draw the abdominals in, send your tailbone away on the in-breath, exhale, tuck your tailbone round your back into cat, and that in-breath away, and exhale to cat, and in-breath away, and exhale to cat. Once more, tailbone away, lift the head, and then tuck the tailbone, scoop the belly around the back, open the shoulders, tuck the head in that order. Come back to neutral. And then reach the hands forwards, tuck the toes, and lift the hips into down dog. Pull the abdominals deep and pedaling up and down with those feet. Press the floor away, draw the head down between the shoulders, breathe, and then walk your hands to your feet. If you can, just stay hanging down there for a little bit, but keep strong in your center. Shift the weight forwards a little bit, lift the sit bones, and then slowly roll up, scoop the belly in, track the hands up the legs, work your way up through your spine. And then reaching up to the ceiling, stretch those hands up, take a side bend, and come up, and then take a side bend, keep reaching up, take a twist, reaching up and taking a twist, And taking the hands onto the small of the back, squeeze the shoulder blades, turn the head. And the other side. So just release that neck. Take the hands forwards, interlace the fingers. Tuck the chin and separate the shoulder blades, soften through the elbows. Breathe. And then feet hip distance, reach up and rise onto toes, inhale. And exhale, come down, bend the knees in, and reach it up. Exhale, come and down, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, come and down. Shoulders back and round. Little shake out. And we're done. Okay.